Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Robin. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're into lifestyle, calligraphy, or gardening. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I know I probably look a little ridiculous with this hat on, but I'm trying to summon all of the spring and summer vibes that 2022 is going to bring to us. And I thought that it would be cool to share with you a simple, chic, minimalistic spring, summer tablescape. Um, I think that I've come to, I've come to the conclusion that my design aesthetic in home decor, that is, is quite minimalistic. I don't like a whole lot of stuff. Um, and when it comes to color schemes, black and white is my thing. And I do like little hints of natural elements um, as well as a pop of metallic. So um, everything that I purchased has come from Hobby Lobby with the exception of the base and the plates, of course. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And in the description, in the comment section below, tell me if you're the type of designer when it comes to holidays and seasons, if you go over the top, like so for spring, if you have bunnies and eggs all over the place, maybe you have children or something like that. Or if you're minimalistic like me and you just have natural elements, plates. <laughs> napkins and napkin rings and a little full stem or so on your table let me know in the comments below i'm really interested to see what everyone's design aesthetic is so let's go ahead and jump into the video so here is a before view of the dining room table with no decor at all no chargers no plates just a blank slate So first what I'm going to do is head to the laundry room and get a couple of cleaning supplies. I'm going to dust the table off first because it is wood and then I'm going to use my natural, not natural, but my wood cleaner pledge cleaner surface polish spray to clean the table off because it is wood. Um, and I'm doing that using a micro microfiber cloth. So here, what I'm doing is taking out the stems. I think I have three stems in total and I am removing the price tags off of them and rearranging them in a way to make the, the floral part of the stem a little fuller. So I'm going to start with the um, placemats. I thought these were really cute. I got them from Home Depot. Um, they were definitely relatively cheap and 40% off because it's spring decor. But I really like a natural design aesthetic. And I thought that these uh, straw woven looking placemats would be really nice for spring. So I'm adding those first. Taking the price tags off and then on top of the placemats, I'm adding these black and white striped chargers. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. I actually think my sister got these for me for Christmas 2020, I believe. But I do like black and white as a design aesthetic. I think that it's really clean um, and somewhat neutral. It gives you the ability to um, put whatever colors along with it. And I think it actually also breaks up the natural look of the table, tablescape. So after I put the plates on top of the chargers, I'm pulling out my white um, linen napkins. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. They were very inexpensive. I believe they are about $3.99, $3 or $4.99 plus the 40% off. Um, what's really cool about these napkins that I'll show you in a minute is that 
the edge of them have pom-poms here is the napkin ring it's a gold bumblebee i believe or some type of insect or something but really cute and here's the close-up of the pom-pom napkins really really cute and here i'm folding the napkins i'm doing a simple like fold in half and then bring the halves in so that the exposed pom-poms will only show at the bottom of the napkin ring and you can or what i'm doing is placing the napkin ring over the top that doesn't have the um, pom-poms down like center way so the top is kind of pointed and then the bottom of the napkin exposes the pom-poms on the napkin ring I'm giving everything a final once over to make sure it looks good to me and everything is straight and in order. And I love it. I think it's really simple, minimalistic, and really pretty. And here is the final after shot. I think it looks really good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button.